Hey there folks and welcome back to Europa Universalis for the right to men expansion as Austria. So I think anyone who spent like, I don't know, more than about mm, three, maybe four seconds probably picked up on the very basic tenet that um, I don't actually have the authority uh, in this war to do any, actually, of the things that I joined this war for. So... You know, there's that as a potential concern and reason to be not in it. So, yeah. Other than that, though. Uh, bad decisions. Um, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. So, ah. Uh, does make me worry. <laughs> it does make me worry about some of these countries over here, whether I'm actually going to be able to get to them. Yeah, it was like Aachen, okay, that's 1720, Mecklenburg here. Okay, 44, that's not too bad. I feel like it was someone. Was it part of these guys? Maybe I'm already too late. This way, maybe? Provence? 27. Yeah, we may not be getting around to that. Well, so it goes, so it goes. Uh, speaking of going and sewing. So it's uh, us, Savoy, and the Palatinate against most of the rest of Europe. But I guess that's not true. Bohemia's not involved. Burgundy's not involved. Aragon's not involved. You know, that, that takes care of most of the major players. Oh, I guess Württemberg and Ulm are also part of it. So, you know, I take it all back. It's a, it's a meaningful coalition on our side. It's a literal coalition on their side, uh, including France, uh, who, I mean, despite the development discrepancy, still is France. Bombanus is world power, eh? Fair enough. Man, that's. That's kind of crazy. Opening press global trade. Still not, uh, still not going. Can I see Valmanis? I cannot. Jean Poor is pretty large. Chagatai. Interesting. All right. So we're kind of getting into position. These guys are heading up this way. I mean, I can hope that the Palatinate does something meaningful with peace deals with folks that I siege down, but in general, like I don't think they're going to try to make them change religion, which is what I really want them to do. They haven't taken religious ideas or anything. So, mostly this war is going to be meaningless. So I'm sitting here debating whether I even want to fight. I don't think I want to sit in the war long enough and then just decide to take the Palatinate's land. I think we are going to need to get in there and actually fight and siege, uh, which is unfortunate. Of course, France is, well, they're France, so 71k troops, you know. NBD, basically. All right. Uh, are these mercs? These, these are the mercenaries. Yes, good. I need many mercenaries. A great many mercs. So 
something like that. Okay, all right. That, that will burn through a significant portion of our money, but it's fine. We'll slow down our ability to uh, take our institution. Yolov, rivaling, I mean, to be fair, they're reasonably large, is rivaling Castile. Give you an idea of how small Castile has grown. Also, I believe Castile, their independence is guaranteed by Morocco. Just, I'm, I'm just making that statement. Also, Morocco owns the Canaries and Madeira. It's, it's quite a thing that's going on over there, really, when you think about it. Okay, all right. All right, we are getting claims on Poland. We're getting claims on Ravensburg. I have a number of claims on the Ottomans. Um, let's turn this fort, this fort, this fort off. Because, I mean, there's absolutely no way whatsoever under any circumstances that while we're embroiled in a war that we're going to have to fight single-handedly against France and the, you know half of the rest of Europe that the Ottomans would attack us. Literally not even a possibility. Mm -hmm. Bad decisions. Not sure if I've mentioned that yet, but bad decisions. Making bad decisions. Alright. Nuremberg sieging and stuff. Uh, I guess let's not even futz around with where we're heading. Let's go right for Augsburg. These Catholics, I mean, I guess. What does the Platinum have as claims? Oh, of course they've got Augsburg as a claim. And Salzburg. And... Memmingen and Nuremberg. Very interesting. Alright, uh, actually, I guess we're gonna head to August. Oh, really? Poop in a soup, then. Alright. I really don't want them crapping all over any of my free cities. So, as I'm going to try to get into position on each of those first. I hope to make something vaguely meaningful out of it. All right, we're already we're already losing, so we've got that going for us. So currently, the platinum would vote for us. That's. Reassuring? Question mark? Yeah, about all that. Let's improve some relations with Russia. Curiosity, how many favors do we have? 46, you say. 26. Oh my. That is interesting. Alright, well, they're going to die almost certainly. Uh, France, yeah, that's, that's going to happen. All right, over here, I can go after Pomerania, but I think the best thing here is to have them just head straight for Brandenburg's capital. We'll go trying to knock people out like a sapling. Where, oh where did the boys' army go? There they are. Okay, all right. That's not nearly as bad as it could be. All right, they can't run until the ninth. Yeah, they're gonna get stack wiped. Yep. I mean, no real surprise. They still didn't lose any territory. Interesting. Hey, Aragon, you know how you hate France. 
You know how you hate France, Aragon. I say, forgetting that Aragon does not actually hate France. Well then. Well then. In that case. Alright, if I can get this Savoyard army to uh, join up, that'll be something. Of course I can't. Why would I think that was a possibility? Sex Lauenberg, why? Why, basically, is the question I'm asking. They're Protestant, there are other issues, sure. Sure, I will give you the access which you which you request. Still hates Timbuktu. Aragon hates Tunis, okay, alright. That all checks out. Oh, I, uh, I could definitely <laughs> have set that to not go through. Well, then that's awkward. Eh, you know what, actually. I think in general that army is going to be sturdy enough to hold its own up there. I'm going to have the mercs down here as reinforcements for, you know, in case France decides to get involved. Not that they would. Not that France would ever do that under any circumstances. 37 ducats. Yeah, alright. Hey, cool. We're influencing the planet. Aren't I happy about that? The answer is no, not particularly. Good. Good. I'm glad we're going to have a rebellion soon. That's... That is pleasant to me conceptually. Ellsberg soon cannot hold too terribly many troops. 28, in fact, so we're taking. Gee, bus. break and run. Wait, Memmington's not in the wall. Well then, it's a good thing I've been standing there. Incredibly useful. Incredibly great way to spend my time. Alright, fortunately, right, it's only level 3 fort. Alright, which means it is obsolete for us, which is great. Right, Savoy is, in fact, coming to reinforce, which again is a positive. together. Ah, okay. Alright. Fair. You 
breached the walls already. That's impressive. Hey, look, France showed up. Hooray. I, this makes me happy. Looks like we might win that fight. This one, this one not so much. Run. There we go, there we go. We won one. We won one. And everyone was amazed. I assume that France and all are also heading to Salzburg. Indeed they are. Indeed they are. Oh, good. Good, we're attacking in the mountains. That's... That's wonderful. That will go well for us. On the plus side, yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing. Not a thing. I can see no plus side. It was, quite simply put, foolish of me to join this war. And so I shall pay. Hey, cool. We siege the place. Alright, I still got an army hanging out down there. I wonder. Pomeranian's capital, so sure, sure. Shot about 14,000 troops. No big deal, really. And also for n no reason whatsoever, I'm just going to turn s some, of, some of these forts back on. Again, not for any real reason. Just, uh, just, just something I thought I might want to do. Do you want money? No, they're really going to want me to release a nation or something equally dumb. Yeah, they're... <laughs> they're not interested in letting me out at all. Alright, fair enough. No one 
treaties. Alright. Yep. Okay. So we're not getting out anytime soon. Is the good news. The bad news? Well, sounds a lot like the good news. As it turns out. Something like that. Might be able to catch some of these armies, but probably won't be able to. Anyway, 17th, that will get out on the 20th, so it looks like we will be able to catch that army. That'll be nice. Do we have any claims? Okay. Let's go ahead and get a claim here then. Actually, I guess I, I can do that from the screen now, can't I? So let's do exactly that. <laughs> Holy crap. Rap of morale is just, it's not good, really, is a sentiment I would like to uh, get across here. Plus 30, Switzerland is making gains. Yeah, as it turns out, the platinum is falling quickly. Viscous Hills, right? I really kind of rather not attack into that. When did I get there? The third. something like that. Why, why? Why that path? I don't understand that path, but okay. Alright. Alright, well... Oh, that's an 8. That's an 8 versus a 0. Come on, man. Okay. Force March. Get there. And Sapley, please. Versus an eight. That's nah, just not going to cut it. Ready to run away. I'm sure some reasons exist why I shouldn't, but it will probably be okay. How keen is super keen? And yes, 
Switzerland's really, really wanting to take that land, so I'm probably going to lose Tyrol. Which I don't like the sound of at all. At all, at all, at all. Oh, good. Uh, well, on the plus side, maybe, possibly. Yeah, and I know Switzerland wants that, so they're almost certainly going to try to take that. On the plus side, maybe, possibly, some of our enemies will get that far over and fight the rebels for us. No, it won't happen. Will not happen. territory is getting occupied. Uh, the good news, such as it is, there we go, where we can occupy things too. So still, yep, super keen. All right, well. Something like that. All right, let's get that claim. Right. Of course I can't. I knew that. Well then. Three, three, you say. Come down significantly. Yeah, see, the thing is, I think Switzerland is going to much prefer our land compared to, uh, compared to any of the Platinum's lands. And in fact, do they have claims? I can't tell that they do. This is a coalition war, so I don't really remember what they can take other than cores and claims. Anyway, I'm going to take a break here, folks, and try to thunk something that maybe possibly will help, but probably not. Anyway, I will see you back in the next episode.